here at Minamara River at the entrance, where it enters the ocean, and there's a few components that are really clearly displayed here. Firstly, we've got evidence of volcanic rocks. We've got these hard latite layers that have built the cliffs around me here, but also out across Minamara Headland and Stack Island as well. These rocks are really strong and resistant to erosion. So they're remnant. They've been here for a few million years and they're gonna be here for a few million years to come. The softer sediments though, include this marine sand. We've got huge deposition of marine sand behind them. We can see some scarping where the tides remove that through erosion. This sand's easily eroded. It's quickly moved by the current, by the tides, and during a flood, large quantities get pushed out to sea. Processes of deposition bring that back into the river mouth. So this is a big cycle of these river banks and sand banks building up and flowing off. Further upstream we find evidence of fluvial sediments. These are fine silts and muds that come down during floodwaters and are deposited around vegetation like mangroves and seagrasses to build up soft mud beds further upstream, high in nutrients allowing those plants to grow.